Running out right now for you to see the Wall Street Journal calling the best art exhibit of or one of the best art exhibits of 2017. This morning, 41 Action News reporter Joel Nichols is showing us a live look through the eyes of Picasso. So tell us what's happening there on Saturday too. A lot of things going on here. Also, always at the Nelson, you have to get here. There's always something new to see, something you haven't seen. And if you happen to look at your paper, your Wall Street Journal, at least in December, under this heading, uh, Life and Arts, one of the best of 2017, right here in our town, and it is through the eyes of Picasso. And it is an amazing exhibit, a, a learning exhibit about what Picasso learned, how he lived, and also what we have learned. And Catherine is back now, and we are standing in front of what is a representation of maybe his one of his last studios. Exactly. This was in the south of France, and here we have the Nelson one and only oil painting by Picasso and but a beautiful vase late in life he's picked up a new material which was ceramics and started playing with that and I guess that's one of the things we could learn from this exhibit is never stop learning absolutely and stop creating and, and always playing do with new materials so one of the things I love the pictures the of pictures him playing with just pieces of paper and this this kind of points us a little bit toward the uh, movie the film coming up on Saturday the mystery of Picasso exactly in that film you'll be able to see him work and you'll see that restless energy. Yeah, it just it's a fascinating story, a great thing for the whole family, and you learn about what he learned, especially uh, when it came to African art and, and masks, and you also learn a little bit about what he didn't quite get right that we know more about now. Exactly, you can really see what he visually took away, even though he really didn't understand what he was looking at. He didn't care to the, <laughs> about the way things were used, he cared about what they looked like, purely it's just, aesthetics. It's fascinating. And as we leave you, look at that uh, right there, that, that beautiful painting with the empty canvas in the middle, and that could be sort of uh, emblematic of what you should take away from this whole exhibit, is that there's something new to create, always something new to fill in that, that empty space. And this space is anything but empty. Come here on Saturday, enjoy the movie, one o'clock, it's back-to-back -back showings, and then make sure you get here before April 8th when it closes. It's fascinating. Th Joel, thank you very much.